Welcome to this week's vlog. This week I'm working on those pleated skirts that I started a while back. So I've screen printed all the fabric and I've made up some of the skirts. I've also added these button loops so they have like all these buttons all the way down and uh, which can be worn to the front or the side or the back and I think that's a really sweet little detail um, and I really like how that looks so I'm just going to button them up here and see how it all looks together. If this is your first time on my videos, hi thanks for watching. Um, so I make content all about slow sustainable fashion and these are my studio vlogs of documenting kind of a week in the life um, as a small brand owner. I make handmade items from upcycled and vintage fabrics. Yes, yeah, so if you enjoy them, please give me a like or subscribe. I'm trying my best to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer. So yeah, it will be much appreciated. In the last video, I went screen printing and I added my prints to all the fabric. Um, and now I'm just constructing the skirts one by one. Um, I'm constructing a few of them and then a few are going online as made to order so that they can be available as custom sizing. So the ones that I'm putting together, I'm just adding all the button panels and everything so that it's kind of an example of how it would look finished. Um, and here's one of the little panels with all the button loops and then with the buttons hand sewed on, which is quite a time consuming job but I really like how that looks um, and I've built up my collection of buttons over the years mainly through eBay really sourcing and um, yeah so I really like bringing them all together for this finished look and here I'm just trying on another one with some screen printed jeans that I made last year and um, I'm hoping to make more of these as kind of like custom pieces as well because now I do get a lot of questions about them. Yeah, so this week was mainly just sewing and construction, lots of ironing and pressing as I go as well. Just press, pressing out the seams so they look nice um, and then ironing in the pleats so that they sit well on the fabric. If you watched one of my fabric sourcing, sourcing videos, I talked about uh, this fabric that I got. It was from a friend. They were like vintage curtains um, and now they are a pleated skirt. And then I thought I would just include this video of my studio one evening when I was leaving with the light coming in. The light in the evening is so lovely and Honestly, sometimes I just step back and look and I'm so grateful. My studio is quite small and packed, but honestly, this is me living my dream, having the studio. And I like to take a moment every so often just to be like, I love this so much. Um, and I've also started a vlog series on kind of what I'm wearing during the week while I'm in my studio. But here's just some of the pieces that I'm wearing. I got that skirt on holidays thrifted that and then the top I got in my friend's shop Finders Keepers which is a vintage shop in Bray in Ireland yeah and this is just what I was wearing one Friday and I really liked it so I thought I would include some here but yeah I have loads of separate episodes on kind of outfits of the week what I'm wearing if you're interested and um, it's on my YouTube channel too and then here's me back in the studio here's another skirt with all these buttons that I'm just gonna button up um, one by one. So my kind of way of preparing for online drops is that I shoot all of my product in my light box um, and that way you kind of get really well lit product and then I edit the background so that they um, are white and they sit well on my website. Um, and then my made to order pleated skirts were in the same fabric so I put them up as made to order with an example of how they'd look. Um, as finished product. Yeah, this is me just shooting each piece one by one and 
we're just going to go through that and I'll show you how they look. I thought I'd just end this vlog by showing you a little project that I'm also working on which is using all my scrap fabrics to kind of do more quilting and patchworking. So these are just some squares that I've been making using scraps. So I'm hoping to make a bag or something maybe with all of these scraps. Um, yeah, but thank you so much for watching the video. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer so um, any help will be much appreciated but thanks again for watching and I will catch you in my next one